Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys said with the title, we will be doing my monthly makeup favorites for the month of July. Oh my gosh, wow, I cannot believe July is over, honestly. I didn't even change my calendar till like halfway through the month, so interesting. Um, <laughs> first, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. I'm kind of really vibing with this lip color. I don't know if it matches my shirt too well, but I'm kind of, we're gonna let it happen because I kind of really love it. I'm wearing the uh, Snow White Luxe, Luxe Lipstick from the ColourPop collection, and I'm obsessed with this color. Um, these are like kind of an honorary mention. I have not used them nearly enough to know how I really feel about them. I think the ColourPop, I've said this a million times, ColourPop has really succeeded in their lip color, in their lip formula in all their lip products. So like as far as the formula goes, it'll always be amazing. I have faith in ColourPop's <laughs> lipstick formulas. Um, I just don't reach for them a lot because I'm not, I don't wear lip colors like this or like bolder lip colors in general. And almost like for like 60%, of the colors are a little bit bolder some of them are like really hot pink some of them are red some of them are deep berries there are a couple nudes but not very many so it really just depends but i wanted to mention them because obviously i'm wearing it and you guys are probably like what is that um <laughs> uh, but also i wanted to mention them because i do enjoy them they are fun they're just not something i've been using like non-stop you know i have to remind myself to use them oh this hairstyle is also a favorite this month it is so freaking cute and I'm truly obsessed. Um, it is super easy, honestly. I did pay, yank some hairs out when I was trying to like fix this one because you can see it does that thing like when you do half up, half up, half up, half down, but that's the price I'll pay. All right, let's just get started. I already said that, but um, I don't even know where to start, honestly. All right, let's start with two products that usually I don't typically talk about, like skincare kind of products, but I wanted to mention these. I've been wanting to mention this for dumb long. This is the beauty of Joseon, J-O-S-E-O-N. It is the Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 um, SPF. It's just an SPF. It has like, it's all in a different language, I think Korean or something, um, <clears throat> made in Korea. <clears throat> So I don't know specifically, but it is just a sunscreen sun relief. Um, and I wore this with me on vacation. Oh my gosh, this is a lifesaver. My skin, I have said this a million times, like I use the e.l.f. Um, SPF like cream or whatever. And I do really enjoy that. I love that product so much. This I actually put on top of that just to double up on the sunscreen. That one only is SPF 30. This is SPF 50. And the sun out there, we were down there and we were in North Carolina. The sun down there was bad like we were in we were in the direct sun for hours and so I brought this and I liked it for my face because I didn't want to re reapply the moisturizer aspect to the elf one um I just wanted some SPF and this really saved my life my skin like is just doing big things <laughs> obviously I have makeup on right now but you don't you can't even see like um that many suns but like you know I'm wearing a light coverage thing they're not no I don't have sunspots like I normally do I don't have like patchiness there's so much good to this freaking thing I'm just I love it and um you guys can actually um use my link down below and I think you get 10% off um but it is my code down below sorry um from Stylevana so you can pick this up super super cheap I'm obsessed 10 out of 10 obsessed and I think a lot of people who are like not SPF snobs <laughs> will really really love this so I wanted to mention that the other thing I wanted to mention was this I've mentioned this quite a few times um in the past but I always forget because it just stays by my nightstand upstairs but I just I'm literally almost done with this bad boy um this is the Aceology overnight lip mask <sighs> so scrumptious I put on every night before bed and my lips la 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 love it um they say like to yeah wipe with a damp damp comp, cotton pad when you wake up I don't do that garbage. I just let this sucker, put the sucker on, sleep all night, and then I wake up and my lips are like, mm, <laughs> in their prime. I freaking, freaking love this. I don't even know how much this actually is. I know I got it in like an Ipsy Plus um, or an Ipsy X. Did this, is this Ipsy X Chloe Kardashian? Could be, could be, but it is so, 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 so pretty. And it just makes your lips so moisturized, so juicy. If you have the opportunity to get it in an Ipsy or get it, you know, just purchase it, get it, get it. Your lips will thank you later. 
All right, I can tell it's gonna be a long video because I'm feeling like a chatty Kathy. <laughs> Next, we'll just start in order from foundation, like from in, that I usually do my makeup. Um, my number one foundation right now is absolutely the Rare Beauty uh, Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I do shuffle through like my top three, um, but this one is just so good. I'm like, I'm wearing it today again. And normally if I'm like, if I'm not reaching for it, I would have picked something else today because I just wore this yesterday. So I've been like, oh, let me shuffle it up. But I really want to wear this today because it is just so stunning and it's one of the better matches for my tan skin it's not perfect but you know it's one of the best matches that i have so i've been love 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 loving this i've talked about this a lot there is spf in this as well so that's really really nice if you are an spf snob so um it is very lightweight light coverage it doesn't do very much but to me i really like i think my skin tone looks even it looks smooth it looks put together without being too much like if I took off my bold lip color and put like on a lip gloss um I feel like my look, it, look is not super bold where it's like oh she's going out no it's kind of just like you know I could run some errands do some small things and move on with my life you know all right next let's jump to yeah let's go to cream bronzer I really didn't have that many this month um and it's because I've been trying to rotate my collection you guys saw my shop my shop my stash video a little bit but also in general because I'm doing that shop my stash I'm just constantly consciously rotating my products off camera so it's really cool but um this oh my gosh this is the lys um no limits cream bronzer contour stick whatever in the shade harmony i'm sure this is going to be an everyone's favorites video i'm wearing it today under another bronzer um it is so creamy so blendable so smooth it looks so beautiful on um when you apply it i think the shades are it's so irritating because i feel like the rare beauty shades from the rare beauty contour stick run light this one runs deep so this is the, only the second shade and it's pretty pretty dark it's even like when i get a, when i lose a little bit of my tan it's gonna be a little dark for me um i can make it work but it, I, I probably wouldn't wear it as much when I'm lighter um <laughs> but the formula is superb and I wish brands came out with when they come out with cream bronzers I'm like I don't know what five is it's not the magic number honey come out with more shades so hopefully they come out with more shades um but if this shade works for you you will not regret it it is like the best cream bronzer I've tried honestly it's totally reached all the way up to number one this is like even I've tried the milk I've tried so many bronzer sticks and this one is my number one it is just makes cream bronzer so easy and I know it's one of those things that's not like it's not a normal normal step in a normal makeup routine but this makes it easy so if you're someone who's looking to try it oh my gosh do it you can apply it to the face it blends out or you can apply it to a brush the back of your hand stamp it on with a sponge you could do whatever you want with this and it'll be easy smooth bl blendable it'll look amazing flawless like you it's honestly foolproof quite honestly and that's saying a lot because not a lot of the time are they are our bronzers like super pigmented um and uh pigmented and bold and whatever or deep or more run a little deep not a lot do that and are blendable and user friendly and easy you know so, so a lot of the time you have to give up one or the other this you don't no sacrifices honey and it's only like 19 dollars, i think 18 19 dollars. so get it get it while you can all right, next, let's go in. Well, we're just going to have to go with the bronzer, the other bronzer that I'm wearing. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Press Bronzer. I have the shade here top down. It's like magic. <laughs> magic is this thing. It is so beautiful. It is so blendable. It is so smooth. Oh, my gosh. I've been loving this bronzer with a um, duo fiber brush. So one like this, I think it just makes it so easy. Um, I The shade top down is a little deeper. It's one of the more tan shades so uh, when i get a little lighter it'll be a little deep but i love it so much that i don't even care it is so beautiful and it's so smooth this is the true um example of a matte but not flat bronzer because it's super matte it's not glowy there's no shimmer there's nothing to it it is matte but it just gives this lifelike like ugh, kind of vibe and i don't want to say luminosity even because it's not luminous it's literally matte but your skin, it looks real, you know? It looks like your skin. And it looks like, you know, a natural kind of bronzy contour. Like, I just was in the sun, you know? I love, 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 love this. The smell is amazing. It is very expensive, honestly. It's a lot of it expensive. There are other bronzers that do that all so well. But if you're looking, thinking about this one specifically, you will not be disappointed, is my point. Um, do I think you need it over other cheaper bronzers? No. But <laughs> if you're gonna get it, just know you will not be disappointed. Oh my gosh. And it's a pretty big size. I don't know how... Hmm, 
to show you guys, but it's a pretty decent, I don't know, like here's my mirror. It's a pretty decent size here, my head. It's, it's a big guy. <laughs> All right, next let's just go in with, while we're talking about Jaclyn Cosmetics, this is the um, Jaclyn X Robin All Set Setting Spray. I really was convinced, I was convinced, honey, that this was like a matte setting spray. <laughs> like, not that it was matte, but I, but I was convinced that it was more like the Urban Decay All Nighter than like the One Size Preserve the Serve. I thought like it was a lot more of just a setting spray where that it makes your makeup last longer. No. It's a lot like more like the one size preserve your serve preserve the serve. I like this one better. I don't know what it is I like better about it, but I think it really does making your makeup last really long, setting your makeup, not being too luminous, too glowy, too much, but it like has the perfect amount. I think it's a little bit more luminous than the one size. Honestly, in my in my brain opinion, I've never squirted them side by side, which I probably should do, but I feel like in my head, when I look at my face right now, I feel a lot more like juicy and a lot more glowy goddess kind of vibe, but it's not glowy. So I think it, this just doesn't take away a lot of the like the stuff I built towards, whereas the Preserve the Serve does a little bit. So I don't know how to say that. I'm not knocking that product because I love that one as well, but I really have been loving, loving, loving this one this past month and I probably will for a long time because I think this one I really can trust to make my makeup last longer but not dry it out or make it look more matte or anything like that so it's perfection and I love the mister too Woo! she's a beaut I don't live for the smell I don't mind the smell but I don't love it I don't know what it is it's like lavender or something like that but like I'm not a super huge fan but I don't hate it it's not a deal breaker by the way, all like most of these products I'm wearing today, just so you know. Um, <laughs> next, let's go in with, we'll just go in with brows. So I've actually been freaking loving the NYX brow glue and I did not think I would. I hated it the first time I used it. I was like, mm, maybe not. But I like it because you don't, like obviously this is meant for the more like fluffy brow where you just lay your brows up and like they kind of live like that. I don't love that kind of vibe, so I was just like, mm, this is not going to be for me. But I think like I kind of got it down to a science, first of all. And a lot of product comes off. Don't like keep reapplying it in. Honestly, I think start from the back and just kind of push your brows up however you want them. I like to go up and over so that they still fall their natural way. And then I'll just, once I'm done with the back of this side, I'll move it over and go to the back of this side and do the same thing. Then I'll go to the front. Uh, you don't want too much product on the brush when you go to the front because then it starts to get goopy and then it's hard to blend out. Don't even do it. This, um, I just like to start in the back, back, and then go to front, front, and just kind of go from there. And I really, really like it. Your brows do not move all day. It's amazing. I don't think it's a dupe for the... Um, one size, I'm sorry, not the one size, <laughs> Makeup by Mario. Um, and it's just because this is a lot more jelly, a lot more difficult almost, because once you're wrong, you're wrong. The Makeup by Mario, you can't go wrong. So um, this one though, I've just been testing a lot more this month, so that's why this one's a favorite, but I, I do really like it. It's just I wouldn't say get this one instead of the Makeup by Mario, right? I, I don't think I'd say that. Um, I want to tell you guys though, my brows surprised me today because I'm just kind of obsessed with them. And what I did today... I finally used my Tarte Big Ego Brow Pomade. I've had this for so long, honestly. It's probably so old, but, like, am I going to get, a, like, a brow infection or something? I don't know. So, I really like this. I just, I, it was the first time I used it today, so I just wanted to mention it quick, that this combination is so freaking pretty. I'm just kind of obsessed. Just kind of push it through your brows. I like to run it on my hand first. I'm not going to do it because I just cleaned off my hand. But I like to put the, I dip it in, put it on my hand, then put it in my brows because then you don't get what I just did. But... Um, so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Next, um, mascara. So I love to rotate my mascaras. I love to try new mascaras. The one that surprised me though, so I wanted to mention it, is this Essence, uh, the Lash for Just Curling Volume Mascara. I did not love this, like, in the beginning. Um, I think this is definitely one that is so, so, so much better once you let it, uh, air out. Let it taste the air. <laughs> let it become one with the air. Once it dries out, it is amazing. Um, my lashes just look so good and I was not, I was not expecting to love it so much. Like all the time when I'm like, okay, like I've used this and this, what do I want to use? Or like, I use this too much, let's use something else. It's always this. Like I always want to go back to this because it's so good. And I think Essence mascaras really can't go wrong with any of them. I do like the green one a lot, a lot. So I'd have to like 
see which one I like more because I really, really like this a lot. Definitely one I would like to keep in my collection and kind of keep as like a staple because it's so good and it's only $5. Like, come on. Come on. So stunning. All right, next, let's just go in with, well, we'll talk about this one first. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm Lip Treatment. I'm almost done with it. Um, these are so, so, so nice. I wouldn't repurchase it because, like, I really don't have a need for this, but it is so pretty, and you can see it's just nice and glossy, really that pillow balm. It gives this cooling sensation. The lips just look juicy, voluptuous, and moisturized, and it lasts such a long time. I really like that. I don't think it's, like, run out of your way to purchase it, but I have been really liking it this month. All right, and then the top kahunas, the ones that probably made it in like the last three, okay, maybe not, but like they've been, they're going to be in favorites for a long time. The next, this is Juice Gloss. I have three of them. I want to get the blue one so bad, um, <laughs> but I have the shade Coconut Chill, which is just a clear. I can swatch them. Um, it's just a normal clear. I like, I love coconut scent, honestly, and this one is so, so stunning. You can see how different, like, this is more moisturizing. This is way more glossy, um, and I almost, like, these don't tingle or plump or anything like that. I'm sorry, they don't tingle, and uh, the, for something about them makes my lips look more plump, and I freaking love that. The other one I have is watermelon sugar. I think it's just, like, I don't know what about it does that but my lips just look juicy and voluptuous and this is just like they really couldn't have named it anything better so here's watermelon honestly they're pretty similar on the lips watermelon has like the slightest more red hue um so i do think that they do have different needs like different people i don't think you need all of them unless you're like me who like is obsessed with them um <laughs> but one of them it will be fine um and then i have strawberry flex here which I really didn't think I would like Strawberry Flex, and I really, really like Strawberry Flex. Oh, it's right here. You can see a little bit how the, you can see a little bit here, the difference in colors. Like, this is more berry, um, and this one's more uh, red, and then this one's a little bit more clear. So, it really just depends on what you're looking for. I like all three of them. I've been using, I've been wearing Stra uh, Strawberry Flex have li has lived in my purse for the last, like, few weeks or week or so. So, it really, again... You can't go wrong with any of the shades. I know that one came in like a little free sample. So um, if you can get a free gift with your NYX purchase, do it because, whoo, that is amazing. <laughs> I love those products. They're so good. Um, and I, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say about them. You need them in your life. I've raved about them for so long. I just have two more honorary mentions um, I wanted to let you guys know of. First, this all, I've only used this twice, but look at how it looks on my face. I've used it three times. It's the Rare Beauty. It's the liquid blush in the shade Love. Look at my blush. Isn't she perfection? Oh my gosh. I really like to... What I did today is because I put... So I like to just take it out or whatever and kind of just like slightest little dab. Um, and so today I had put too much on the one side. So I just took a brush. Was it this brush? Yeah, it was this brush. I just took the same brush that I used my cream bronzer with. And then I just stamp it like this. And then go over here and then go back and then take it across my nose and oh my gosh it is so beautiful this shade is like a beautiful like terracotta -y, um like in the summer it gives that sun kiss kind of vibe but in the winter it's like that you know uh juice i don't know that warm tone deliciousness with all the oranges oh my gosh I've only used it a couple of times, so it's hard to, like, really give you my opinion, but these have been loved and raved about for so long that it's like, you know, you don't even need me to give a full review because, you know, it's amazing. So, 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 so good. I honestly, in my personal opinion, I think the full size is, okay, the full sizes are just better than the minis. I've tried few minis. I feel like I tried the shade Love, but maybe I didn't, or maybe I just wasn't well versed in, like, cream, I mean, cream liquid products when i tried them because i didn't like i got rid of so many minis i have like three or four honestly like little mini sizes and i just like you know i'm like i don't like that i don't use them blah blah, blah. but this one something about this one magical magical all right and then uh last but